Victory O Rog of Bashan. Next we turned and headed for the land of Bashan, where King Og and his entire army attacked us at Andre. But the Lord told me, Do not be afraid of him, for I have given you victory over Og and his entire army, and I will give you all his land. Treat him just as you treated King Sin of the Amorites, who ruled in Eshbon. So the Lord our God handed King Og and all his people over to us, and we killed them all. Not a single person survived. We conquered all sixty of his towns, the entire Agob region in his kingdom of Bashan. Not a single town escaped our conquest. These towns were all fortified with high walls and bar gates. We also took many unwalled villages at the same time. We completely destroyed the kingdom of Bashan, just as we had destroyed Kingson of Peshpan. We destroyed all the people in every town we conquered, men, women, and children alike. But we kept all the livestock for ourselves and took plunder from all the towns. So we took the land of the two Amorite kings east of the Jordan River, all the way from the Arnon Gorge to Mount Hermon. Mount Hermon is called Syrian by the Sidonians, and the Amorites call it Sanir. We had now conquered all the cities on the plateau and all Gilead and Bashan, as far as the towns of Sorka and Etre, which were part of Og's kingdom in Bashan. King Og of Bashan was the last survivor of the giant Raphates. His bed was made of iron and was more than 13 feet long and 6 feet wide. It can still be seen in the Amnite city of Rabah. Land division east of the Jordan. When we took possession of this land, I gave to the tribes of Reuben and Gad the territory beyond Roa along the Arnon Gorge, plus half of the hill country of Gilead with its towns. Then I gave the rest of Gilead and all of Bashan, Og's former kingdom, to the half-tribe of Manasseh. This entire Agob region of Bashan used to be known as the land of the Raphates. Je, a leader from the tribe of Manasseh, conquered the whole Agob region in Bashan, all the way to the border of the Jurites and Marcatites. Je renamed this region after himself, calling it the towns of Je, as it is still known today. I gave Jilead to the clan of Makir. But I also gave part of Jilead to the tribes of Reuben and Gad. The area I gave them extended from the middle of the Arnon Gorge in the south to the Jabot River on the Amnite frontier. They also received the Jordan Valley, all the way from the Sea of Galilee down to the Dead Sea, with the Jordan River serving as the western boundary. To the east were the slopes of Pisgah. At that time I gave this command to the tribes that would live east of the Jordan. Although the Lord your God has given you this land as your property, all your fighting men must cross the Jordan ahead of your Israelite relatives, armed and ready to assist them. Your wives, children, and numerous livestock, however, may stay behind in the towns I have given you. When the Lord has given security to the rest of the Israelites, as he is to you, and when they occupy the land the Lord your God is giving them across the Jordan River, then you may all return here to the land I have given you. Moses forbidden to enter the land. At that time I gave Joshua this charge, you have seen for yourself everything the Lord your God has done to these two kings. He will do the same to all the kingdoms on the west side of the Jordan. Do not be afraid of the nations there, for the Lord your God will fight for you. At that time I pleaded with the Lord and said, O Sovereign Lord, you have only begun to show your greatness and the strength of your hand to me, your servant. Is there any God in heaven or on earth who can perform such great and mighty deeds as you do? Please let me cross the Jordan to see the wonderful land on the other side, the beautiful hill country and the Lebanon mountains. But the Lord was angry with me because of you, and he would not listen to me. That's enough. He declared. Speak of it no more. But go up to Pisgah Peak, and look over the land in every direction. Take a good look, but you may not cross the Jordan River. Instead, commission Joshua and encourage and strengthen him, for he will lead the people across the Jordan. He will give them all the land you now see before you as their possession. So he stayed in the valley near Bethpeah.